who am I speaking with? Hassan from the Edgewater Hotel at the Ed uh, Admiralty Dining Room. Okay. And we're here at the Dane County Farmer's Market. Yes. Um, now you say that you do buy vegetables from the farmer's market. Yes, we do. The, we try to get it every week with the fresh vegetables and the fruits, uh -huh. daily from the farmers, that so you can see the nice and fresh. And uh, we like to offer like, the, we like to support our Dane County Farmer's Market on the farmers in town. And what are we here today with? And uh, today I bought the fresh cherries from Door County Cherries. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna make the cherries jubilee. Ah. And uh, this so the tart cherries, so it's like a, the, the, it's really good with the let me cook with the cherries. You believe it holds a little a uh, lot stronger than the sweet cherries. It doesn't fall apart. Okay, so for this recipe, you should be using the tart cherries and not the sweet cherries. Yes. Now the first thing you need to do when you make anything out of cherries, I guess, is pit them. Yes. We have to keep them in cold water first because these are the, the fresh cherries. And uh, you have to keep them like a, you can put the ice on it too or keep it colder. Okay. But uh, after like a five or ten minutes later, you can take them out. Okay. And it's easy to fill them out. You have to have a little bit of uh, pinpoint knives. Okay. And you can just pick a small, uh, smaller hole in the bottom, just poke them in the bottom. And if you just hold it from the side and push them up, it seed comes out really easy. Oh, wow. And it's just like that. And it's like a one second thing. Go ahead and do another one. That was just amazing. Just, just a, yeah, just a small poke in the bottom. And we'll hold it from the sides and push them up. It comes out really easy, wow. just like that. And now we will go on to the Jubilee. Yes. So first of all, you can have a copper pan. You need to have a, a knife, a, a rather large tablespoon. And you need to have a zester. And uh, one tablespoon of butter. And uh, three, fourth, three, three fourth cup of sugar, uh, white sugar. And uh, one lemon and one orange. And uh, next one you need like a the cheesecloth, cup of the, the fresh cherries. That's what we put it before earlier. And uh, you can make a cherry sauce. Mm. And this is what we do make from the from cherry juice. We boil down a little bit, a uh, little bit sugar, and a little bit cherry brandy, and a little bit cinnamon. And uh, to a thickness, we use the roux or the cornstarch. Okay. So that makes it a lot easier and faster cornstarch. Now, when you say a roux. What does that mean? A roux is the, made from flour, actually. It's like regular flour mixed with water and salt. Okay, very good. So it's basically to thicken it. Yes. A roux you made, every, every chef uses in the regular restaurants and everywhere. And we put the butters down first. And we can uh, zest our lemon. And I can smell the citrus smelling is awesome. And the orange. And while this one's cooking up a little bit, and uh, we are gonna put our the sugar over just a little bit. It's not a lot of sugar, it's just a three-fourth cup of sugar. And in the meantime, when it's cooking like that, we are going to cut our orange and lemon in half. Now, how much heat? At, at home, you can use in the, like a, about medium. Okay. That should be okay. okay. And to squeeze your, the juices in there, orange and lemons. And the reason we are using the cheesecloth to not to get the seeds in there at, uh, in the pan. Ah, okay. And we'll let this cook a little bit for about a couple minutes. Okay, then the, after cooking about a couple minutes, we are going to add our cherry juice in there. Okay. It looks like a jam, but it's, it's not the jam, so you made the cherry juice. And at the Edgewater, you do, in fact, cook this at table side, is Yes, it? we do, right in right front of the customers. And we picked the cherries earlier. These are all the fresh cherries I picked from the Door County. Door County Market cherries? Yes. Yep. And the tart cherries are uh, available at the market are, now? So. Yes, they are. Yep. And this is going to cook about, about uh, two to three minutes. Okay. After two to three minutes later, so we can just keep mixing like a, you can stir them some, some once in a while. 
make sure the oil is not uh, burning in the bottom. Yeah. And we can add a little bit of uh, nutmeg for flavor. Ah. Just a sp sprinkle, it doesn't have to be a lot. So. And we are going to do the flambe part, but uh, some of the homes, I don't know, the, you're not going to be able to do the flambe, but I mean, if you have open space, you can. Ah, okay, so do this with caution. Yes. So I, flambe, that sounds like flame. It is, yes. Okay. It looks really impressive. What is the purpose of the flambe? Flambe is the purpose of adding the flavors, opens up the liquor. Ah, okay. But it brings out the flavor. So it's more than just show? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the flambe part with the cherry brandy. Wow. And a little bit of cinnamon over the sprinkle. And this is ready to serve now. Now, is there a trick to getting it to, bur to, to flame like that? Yeah, so we have to the pull your pan a little bit in the back and heat up. You have a little, uh, create a little bit of heating point in the front of the pan. Okay. And I just leave that space empty like a tree with like one part of the area in the corner and just heat up the corner. When you put the liquor over that, that's when you pull it over there, I'm just going to do it one more time. Okay. I just When you pull the pan back a little bit more, just pull over the liquor and pull it back a little bit tilted in the front and it catches up right away so you don't have to worry about you know, burning yourself. Gotcha. So it doesn't have to be like a huge flame. Then if, even if you can't do this at home, if you have a gas, gas stove, but not the electric stoves. And we do get have uh, some the ice cream gathering in the kitchen. One scoop of ice cream with all the cold plate. And uh, this is for do serve for two. That's why I brought in two, a couple of them. Oh, okay. And uh, take, you know, take more close to your table. I got a few cherries on the side. That's beautiful. This is what I mentioned, this is for dessert, so. Yes. This is one of our guests, uh, lovely Charlene. She's going to try our Cherries Jubilee today. Fabulous. This is just wonderful. Thank you. And please enjoy. Bon appetit. Thank you, Hassan. Mm -hmm. mm. Is that right? Mm. 